Welcome everyone, here's Satan on dark mode for the Google Chrome app. So opening up the Google Chrome app, if we want to have a base level dark mode, and I'll show you how to do a full dark mode in a bit. So with an iPhone without a home button, you slide down from the far right hand side. For an iPhone with a home button, you slide up from the bottom. Then you're going to long press where you see the brightness toggle and then tap on dark mode to turn it on. What you will notice is it will turn on dark mode, but the website hasn't changed. But do you see what I just did? I've now turned on dark mode with magic. No, uh, there is a way to do exactly what I just did. So if you want to toggle dark mode for websites on or off, what you're going to do is you're going to do the following. So you want to open up the settings app. And from here, you're going to scroll down so you see accessibility you then want to find touch you then want to scroll to the very bottom until you see back tap if you don't see back tap then I will show you an alternative method you can use so we'll tap on back tap we'll find double tap and you're going to scroll all the way down until you see smart invert and turn this toggle on so what this does is when you double tap the Apple logo, it will turn on the Smart Invert. So Smart Invert won't invert all of the colors, but it will invert a bunch of them. So what Smart Invert does is it will keep images and you know some stuff the same color. Okay, so you can see the yellow here doesn't change, uh, etc. Uh, well, it does change from blue to yellow even. But the images here, if I just refresh, okay, take a look at the image. When I double tap, it reserves the images. So they stay the same, but the other stuff does not stay the same, okay? So it has inverted the colors. If you don't have the back tap feature, then what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Shortcuts app. This is uh, available on your iPhone built in. However, if it's not, it's a free download from the App Store. So you're going to tap on the Automation option here. Then find the plus and find Create Personal Automation. We're then going to scroll all the way down until we see app, tap on app, and you'll see app is opened, tap on choose, and choose Chrome, then we'll tap on next, we'll find add action, and we're going to search for smart invert, and you'll see here, turn smart invert on, tap on next, turn off, ask for running, don't ask and then tap on done. Then we'll tap on the plus, create personal automation, app, we'll select is closed and uncheck is opened. We're then gonna choose Chrome, tick, done, next, add action, and you can set smart invert. Okay, so set smart invert and just tap on the on to set it off. Make sure you turn off, ask for running, and now we're good to go. Okay, so now when we open up the Chrome app, it's going to turn on Smart Invert. And then when we leave the Chrome app, it will turn off Smart Invert. Is it perfect? No. Is the back tab better? Yes, but it gets the job done, okay? Of course, not all websites will work well, all right? But, um, you know, you can see here, Thumbnails for videos are fully working. This website is in dark mode by default, so it will go into light mode, okay? You can also notice, yeah, some some stuff isn't loading how you would like it to be. Uh, That's why the back tab is great, because if a website is working properly, then what you can do is you can, you know, just double tap the back. It will turn off the, the uh, whatever this thing's called, the smart invert, okay? And that will just prevent any issues, right? But um, yeah, it is what it is. You can thank Chrome for not adding a built-in dark mode feature. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.